Hello everybody and welcome to episode 304 of Ranger Chronicles. My name is Charlie Niemeyer and I'll be your host for today. Today marks a special occasion, a momentous occasion I guess you could say. After almost after nine years of being on Fox Kids, these two episodes mark the bridge from Fox Kids to ABC Kids. As I have mentioned before, by this point Disney basically owns Power Rangers and as such uh, the process to move everything over to ABC stuff culminates in this beginning of the fall season for 2002. So Fox Kids got Power Rangers Wild Force all the way through August. Not quite all the way through August. Our first episode is in about the second week of August. And then we go a couple of weeks and then we go to ABC Kids with new episodes. So... Having said all that, we're going to watch our final Fox Kids episode first, which is The Master's Last Stand. And we are going to watch this episode in 3, 2, 1, go! The Master's Last Stand was the 26th episode of Power Rangers Wild Force. It first aired on August 10th, 2002, written by Derek Rydall and directed by Koichi Sakamoto. There's Dr. Adler looking familiar. Are you bored? I'm going down. I'm taking the Rangers with me. Going down? <laughs> Falling. I remember after the war, it was buried in this desert, hidden in a secret cave. Maybe your memory's failing you. By the way, while we're watching this, well, they say that in your looks are the first Chindrax here age. is voiced by an actor who also did the voice for Ninjor, but also in season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, played talk show host Harvey Garvey. And if you happen to watch Once Upon a Ranger, Harvey Garvey's tombstone was damaged by the Robo Minotaur during the special. Isn't that fun? Of course, he does it like a dog. He even barks. What is it? Oh, he even makes the goofy noise. They found him. Guys, they found him. They found Dr. Adler. We are live here at she knows that name. That's not a hospital. That's the university. Oh, it's on the TV. There's a lot of excitement and commotion around here, folks, as people are very curious as to know what went on. They are bringing the doctor down from the ambulance right now. Dr. Adler, how did you survive all that time in the harsh jungle, sir? What happened to the rest of your party, sir? Dr. Adler. Sir, do you have any comments for the press? People are very curious as to know what went on. Hello? Cole, they found Dr. Adler. He's alive. What? You know what that means. If he's still How alive, often does he sit at the graves? That might mean my parents could still be alive too. See yeah, what I said last time about the uh, hand, arm acting? Okay. He just keeps doing the same hand thing all the time. I 
I can't wait. Cole, wait up. I have to find out what he knows about my parents. Zach Christian, please come to the Dude. Project. You need a bath. You understand that it might not be good news. I need to know what happened to them. One way or the other. Dr. Rainey, your tea time is confirmed. They don't recognize him yet, huh? Dr. Adler. It's me, Cole Evans, son of uh, Richard and Elizabeth. Please, tell me what happened to my parents. You'll find out. Soon enough. Oh, oh. Wow. You know, the way this is going, with it being the final fight, apparently, with the mas with Master Org, I do kind of like how it's uh, really setting up the uh, cliffhanger for the mid-season thing. Especially knowing that... Oh, especially knowing that... Uh, there's the network switch. I'm sure they knew of that. That's probably why we got the team up for the Fox Kids side. And then we get the uh, Forever Red for the ABC Kids side. Probably. That's my guess. Oh, we saw this warehouse earlier. Ugh. Wake up, Cole. Dr. Adler? Started sweating all of a sudden. Why are you doing this? I thought you were my parents' friend. <laughs> wow, really? You didn't notice? Dr. Adler is Master Org. Wow. You are terrible at this. Oh, the that's disgusting. Uh oh. That's right. I finished off your parents, and I enjoyed every single minute of it. Ooh. They asked me for mercy, so I gave it to them. I ended their worthless existence quickly. No. How? Ho, ho, ho. How could you do something like that? They deserved it after all the pain they caused me. What are you talking about? Your parents were once my friends. I trusted them. I dedicated my whole life to our cause. You've done it! You can plunder We worked together, Richard, day and night, to trying to prove the existence of Animaria. We were a team. We were all going to the top together. But as time passed, I grew to love your mother, and I know she shared my feelings as well. Dr. Adler, I'm so Things glad Things would have you. been perfect. I have something I'd like to talk to you about. But first... Richard proposed. Isn't it great? Except we're married. Your father hadn't dared to see me succeed in anything, <laughs> even love. There had to so be something going between them. We got the up to that he point, me. He stole my couldn't have been out of nowhere. Oh, we're finally gonna prove once and for all that Anna Maria really did exist. But that's not all he stole. He stole my chance at a family. Jeez. At fame. What makes you think you'll find clues to Animaria in the Amazon? Richard? Oh. 
we have uncovered fairly conclusive data that the key which will unlock the mystery of Anna Maria lies there. Somewhere. How about a picture of the expedition team for the Turtle Cove Times? You know what? I haven't paid enough attention. I began to detest the mission to save the Earth. Was that all filmed before, or was that really Always done for this? Me of my betrayal. Ew. Yeah, I wouldn't touch those. The remnants of Master Org. I will destroy it immediately. Just stay back. At that moment, I knew fate had led me to the release from my suffering. I couldn't stand it any longer. So I did the only thing that I could. I would punish those who hurt me. You know what I think it is? I think he got a haircut for this part. I knew that if I were to become Master Org, there would be nothing that could stand in my way. So, I ate the seeds, and the transformation began. Ugh. And now, <laughs> I will have my revenge! I was no longer a weak human being. He's there. He took the seeds, didn't you? I became Master Org. <laughs> All the traces of my past had to be destroyed. All obstacles eliminated. And that just leaves you and me now. Oh. All this time, I've been searching for my parents. By a friend. It was my rightful revenge. Wow, how does a shot make you fly forward? Anyone with heart wouldn't be able to. Uh-oh. You're not human. You have no heart. <laughs> That's right. I'm an orc now. And I'm going to enjoy watching you. So the seeds suffer. destroyed his heart? Even more than your parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He hit that head first. Deep breath now. Because it will be your last. I sense a big morphed showdown coming up. This is it. This is it. Or this is it. <laughs> Stop it. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's her nails. That's nifty. That's a new org general. That's a new org general. I think it's blue. Oh, that worked real well. Good job, Toxica. Oh, maybe it did work. Oh. Mouth feet. Fun. Oh, he stopped. I swore with my life to protect all of nature. I'm 
the guardian of the earth? Oh. Wow. Not the best acting, but, you know, it makes sense. Animarium armor. Probably gonna need the armor. You know, I have to say, I enjoy the wire work. Except for the fact that a lot of times the wires end up pulling up the back of the shirt or whatever. And this is why he's not in the episode. Hey, you know, I just realized this is all American footage again. Buddy? The other's gonna morph too, or no? Oh, I like the effect on the helmet. Oh, nice. Oh, it demorphed him though. Oh, did he just de-org him? <laughs> I like how he throws the sound effect in there. Let's go, guys. You're just gonna leave him? Kind of a criminal. Hey, where are you going? Ah, finish me. What? Are you too much of a coward? Ah. <laughs> oh, he spit. Why won't you finish me off? Haven't you learned? Anything? All that time spent pursuing revenge, and it only poisoned you. I won't take that back. Oh, all right, good job, Cole. Then I guess better man than I would have been. So what's the head wound? Where the helmet was? Where his fake eye was? Well, 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 well. Look who's come crawling back. You too. I am still your master. We don't take <laughs> orders from a human. That's you. We have a real orgasm master now. What? See for yourself. I was right. Oh, and it's a lady. Hey, the lady voice, that's Barbara Goodson, Rita Repulsa. In fact, she actually sounds just like Rita.
Get it? Fall. Because of the I know. season thing. <laughs> what really happened to you? You'll be happy to hear that that you were right. Anna Maria did exist. My friends and I are are using its power to protect the Earth. So, in a way, we're continuing your work. See, his acting here is not bad. It's the hand motion sometime. It's all over. Oh. Uh oh. Next time on Power Rangers Wild Force. A part of Merrick's past comes back to haunt him. You. You are weak. Now you will pay for your betrayal. I thought Merrick was Xena. What about Merrick? I'm afraid something terrible happened to him. I told you it was my battle. But we're your friends. I have to handle this on my own. Merrick, wait. Why? Hmm, riding a bike, doing a final kick like that. A rider kick, interesting. Anyway. Alright, well that's going to do it for the Fox Kids era. I think. Not 100% sure, I'm judging by the fact that this is early August for this episode, and the next episode is early September. Seems like a good spot to do it. Anyway. So we're going to take a quick break. And I will be back in just a few moments with our second episode. Power Rangers Wild Force will be roaring right back on Fox Kids. Introducing ABC Kids. All right, we made it. Cool. Featuring all new episodes of Power Rangers Wild Force and a whole lot more. ABC Kids. Saturdays on ABC. And we're back, and we're ready to start our second episode, which we are going to do here in three, two, one, go. Unfinished Business was the 27th episode of Power Rangers Wild Force. It first aired on September 14th, 2002, written by Suzy Shimoyama and directed by Taro Sakamoto. Meanwhile, in what appears to be Sentai footage, for the first time in a while, no, this is American footage. Really? Where did the power for this come from? Has it been a while since he's done this? Or is this to remind everyone that he does this? Mm. 
Wow. Day after day, you're always practicing the same shot. Don't you ever get tired of it? Now you watch this. I'm gonna teach you something new. Oh, that's cool. You play pool? I did. <laughs> a long time ago. I like to keep the past in the past. Kind of like you, kid. You're a bit of a mystery yourself. So, hey, it's fine with me. All right, you break. Oh, he was going to play pool with them, too. Aw. Oh, that sounds familiar. Can't be. I think that's the tunnel to Japanese footage. How is this possible? You! So, we meet again. Yeah? Merrick's in trouble. He needs your help. They're just hanging out eating ice cream. <laughs> Come on. Crescent Blade! Wow, that was fast. Eric's not doing too good. Is he because of, because of confusion, maybe? That's Japanese. Footage. Different style of quarry. More green. I would say so. I broke your curse. See, there's an American quarry. See how it's all dead and dirty? Brown? We have to help him. I have to fight him alone. Why? Oh, you're doing so well. After 3,000 years together, you think you can escape me? But, but I broke the mask! Yes, and we were ripped apart. But... I'm no longer dependent upon another to exist. You got your freedom, but my spirit was also released. Now I'm free to do as I please. You no longer need a host to live in this world. What do you want from me? Your spirit and mine were entwined together for centuries. You chose to destroy that bond to separate us. I was discarded, cast aside, rejected. But now I've come to take you back. Together we will be unbeatable. I will never well, you were beatable before, you. though. You have no choice. No! What? Really? This is where he gets mad at her for saving him. Why did you do that? Yeah. I told you it was my battle. He would have. You know what? It doesn't matter. But we're your friends. I'm the one who released Zanaku. I have to handle this on my own. Wild access. 
So he gets his bike by just throwing one of his crystals. That foot was not going to connect. We've got to help him. Merrick, no. Where'd they go? I don't see him. They're gone. That's really weird. Oh, someone better get that. Zenaku seemed more, more powerful than before. How is that possible? Well, when Merrick wore the mask of Zenaku, its powers were divided between the mask, Merrick, and his three wild swords. Now that Zenaku's on his own, he's got all that power to himself. Jeez. But what about Merrick? He just disappeared. I'm afraid something terrible happened to him. No. Merrick's still out there. I can feel it. Oh, can you feel where he is? So they can help him? Wow, that there wind is, is no like escaping. last second, isn't it? I brought your spirit into this world. I can send it back. You will never make me return. Oh, he's got the crescent. Oh, dude. Oh, that was nifty. Kind of left yourself open on that one, Merrick. She's just kind of sitting there like a little old lady. What's going on? It's so early. What's he saying, Cole? He says, Merrick needs our help. He wants us to follow him. Let's go. But he went over to the side, and you're going backwards. They've been fighting all night. We'll say this about Wild Force. Their fights can go on for quite a while, can't they? Uh-oh. 
That's interesting. He wasn't wearing the jacket when he morphed. I told you you couldn't run from your past. Now we will be one again. Ah, here we go. Fairly certain that was Sentai footage, because the jacket sleeve was different. What are you doing here? The Wolf Lord spoke to me. He said you needed us. He brought us here. Windy day. Let us help you. You were willing to sacrifice yourself for me. I would sacrifice my life but for my friends. We all would. We're a team, Merrick. We have to fight together. That's how it works, man. Have you never watched Power Rangers before? All right. Let's do it. See, it seems like this episode should have come a couple episodes ago when they've already been doing this for a little bit. Oh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to be much of a problem. Uh, where did they go? Yeah, that's weird. The ninja stuff doesn't happen until next season. Up here. What? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I wouldn't say that any of that was a savage slash. All right. He's all yours, Merrick. Lunar Q. Break mode. Laser pool. Yeah. Lunar break. Is this going to work? I guess it worked. It's over. You haven't even seen a fraction of the power I now possess. Really? Uh oh. Is he gonna grow? I, mean, I was just thinking, it's been a while since we've seen Zords. The other makers are going to come in at all, or just these guys? There we go. See, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is from, like, shortly after he joined up. Considering we're not getting the Falcon and all that. Armadillo? Mm-hmm. Ah. Impossible. How could he do that? 
This is only episode 27. How did he throw it twice? Oh, now he's batting. It's just not fair. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's it. No, he's going to suddenly know how to do that trick. You just don't learn, do you? Oh, right in the face! Oh, his horn! You cut off my horn. Your in I wouldn't say cut, more of a filed. Revolver, mantle. What? Oh! Gone for good now. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, she's so excited! <laughs> Merrick. Over here. Merrick. My friends. Merrick. You did it! Zanaka's gone for good. It's over. I appreciate your help, guys. Thanks. I think this calls for a celebration? Yeah. Zenaku's finally gone. Let's party! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, are you coming? I don't think so. Oh, but you have Come to on, come Eric. on, man! Come on! Don't be a party bomber. <laughs> It'll be fun! Aw, oh, dude. Really? Sounds good. So this is his. F hey, where's Merrick? So is this going to end up being like his first time back on the Animarium? Princess. Oh, don't take it personally. Merrick's always been a bit of a lone wolf. I'm sure he's celebrating. Ha ha ha! Lone wolf. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me that shot. It came in handy. I thought it might. So you back to finish that game we started? Yep. Still your break. Couple days later? Wow. Did no one show up in like two or three days? Alright, well that's it for that episode. That, uh, like I said, that feels like it should have been like right after Zenaku uh, was defeated. Like directly after, maybe? Maybe the next episode after he got his jacket. But yeah, it, I don't know. They do some weird order with Power Rangers when you get into the middle of the season. It's really weird. Anyway, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you all for listening. Next time up, we'll be watching two more episodes of Power Rangers Wild Force. And they are Homecoming and The Flute. So until then, I hope you all have a great week. And may the power protect you. Thank you for listening to Ranger Chronicles. Feedback for the show can be sent to prchronicles at gmail.com, or feel free to leave a comment on the show's posting at powerrangerchronicles.com. Ranger Chronicles is now on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash rangerchronicles for more information. All images and music heard on the show are copyright the respective copyright holders and are used for entertainment purposes only. No infringement is intended. This show is dedicated to everyone, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, who have worked to bring us Power Rangers since 1993. Ranger Chronicles is a proud member of the Two True Freaks Internet Radio Network. Please be sure to stop by 2TrueFreaks.com to check out more great shows. Thank you, and may the power protect you.